This week we'll be looking at how to write loops. Loops are another essential aspect of programming. They allow us to tell the computer to complete the same sequence of commands until a certain condition is met. This opens up a lot of possibilities for our shell scripts. In fact, anything that a computer can be programmed to do can be done with a combination of commands executed in a sequence, decision statements, and loops. There are several loop structures available in Bash. This week we will cover the while structure, which is one of the basic loop structures available in nearly every programming language. This video will show you how to write two simple loops. One will count down and print numbers from 10 to 1, the other will accept user input until a specific value is entered. Let's write the countdown loop first. Before writing our while statement, we'll create a variable to keep track of our countdown. It's important to initialize any variables that are used to control the loop before the loop begins. The syntax of the actual while statement will look very similar to the if statement we covered in the last video. On the first line, we'll write the word while and a test command. I'm going to use the square bracket form of the test command that I covered at the end of the if statement video, but the word test would work just as well. In this go case, I'm going to test whether countdown is greater than zero. The code in the body of my while loop will only execute if the test statement is true. On the next line, I'll write the word do. This is similar to the then in the if statement. It signals where the body of the while loop begins. Now I can write the body of the loop. First, I will print out the countdown variable. And then I will subtract 1 from countdown. It is very important to make sure that the variable controlling your loop changes somewhere in the loop. If the test condition after the while statement never becomes false, the loop will execute forever. If this happens while you're writing your own code, don't forget that control C can terminate a runaway script. We use the word done to signify the end of our loop. When bash gets to the word done, it will jump back up to our while statement. If the test condition is still true, it will execute it again. If the test condition is false, it will skip the body of the loop and go on with the next line after the done statement. I'm going to write a line that will print the word blast off when the loop has completed. Let's run this and see what happens. It's important to understand why we got that result. Countdown started at 10. The code tested that to make sure it was greater than zero and executed the body of the loop, which printed out countdown and subtracted one from it. When bash got to the done statement, it went back to the while and tested to make sure that countdown was still greater than zero. It was, so it did the same thing again. This process repeated until countdown was not greater than zero. Then our program went on to the next statement after the loop and printed blast off. Let's add one more loop to this program. Once again, I'm going to initialize my variable before the loop begins, but this time I'll do it with a read statement. I'm going to write my loop so that it will execute as long as the user input is not the word stop. In the body of the loop, I'll write a brief message and then get the user input again. This is important. Once again, my variable controlling the loop needs to change in the body of the loop so that the loop can eventually end. Then I'll just end my loop. Let's run this one and see what happens. As long as I type a word other than stop, the loop will keep going. But as soon as I type stop, the loop ends. This gives two basic examples of while loops. 
When writing while loops, don't forget to initialize any control variables, write a test statement, and make sure the body of your loop changes the loop control variable. With this, you should be able to make programs that repeat as long as you like.